Next page. Oh, me? Hey, so how's your day been going? Just fine, sir. How may I help you today? Well, I'd like to pull some money out of my account. I was going to use the ATM outside, but it seems to have somebody's card stuck in it. Yeah, well, that happens every couple of minutes. It's probably because we got a reconditioned model. It actually used to be a diesel pump in an Arco. We just wanted to make it look like we had an ATM machine outside. But lucky for you, I can help you right here. So if you could please just slide your card and enter your PIN number so I can pull up your account. That'd be great! Okay. Oh, that's the same as your birthday! You know a lot of people do that. Just one second while I pull up your account. Oh, wow. That's not good. What's not good? And why are you smiling while you say that? Ah, so what is it anyways? Well, it appears you overdue your account two weeks ago. Did you not receive our emails? No? Which one? I have like five email addresses. I have one phone. Couldn't you guys have just called me? We're sorry. We prefer to send email notifications of overdraft fees in the hopes that you'll never find out in time. What? My bank statement tricked me by saying I had more money in my account than I actually did. There was a processing charge that wasn't deducted from my account balance. So what do I owe you guys? About 20, 30, right? Uh. It's a bit more than $30, sir. You currently owe the bank $615.56. Now that'll be cash or credit. That's gotta be a mistake. Oh no, sir. Banks don't make mistakes. What about the bailout? Oh, you mean the company stimulus package? How's that a mistake? We made millions! Yeah, well, how do I owe that much? Two sodas and a pack of Starburst? Are you kidding me? It's really quite simple, sir. Every time you overdo your account, we charge you $35. For every day you do not pay us back, we charge you $34. And for being poor and uninformed, we charge you $33. That's our poor fee. So let me get this straight. First, your statement says I have more money than I really do because something I bought was processing. Then while not having any money, you guys accept me buying crap I don't need. Knowing that I don't have any money, I'm charged $34 a day for not paying it. And then on top of that, you don't even inform me that I owe money. And what the hell is a poor fee? Let me bring out our financial advisor to better assist your needs. Please take a seat over there at the desk. He will join you shortly. Next, please. I am a financial advisor. Don't I know you from somewhere? Me? Oh no, sir, no. So let's see, what seems to be the problem here, Mr. John Brown. Right. Mr. Brown. It appears you owe the bank $615.56. I'm here to help you get this all settled. Do you have a savings account? Yeah, I do. Splendid! We can pull some money out of your savings account to fill the deficits you incurred. Do you know how much money you have in there? Well, I put about 550 in there like five years ago. I imagine by now it should have made enough to cover this off, right? Why didn't you guys just pull from my savings account in the first place? Well, to answer your question, Mr. Brown, when you first signed up for your account, there was a small box with tiny text next to it that read, Check this box if you wish your savings account would cover insufficient funds. And since you did not check the box, we can only sit back and twiddle our thumbs and watch you dwindle your money away. But we can check your savings account balance, so simply slide your card here and enter your PIN number. Okay. Well, as of now, your savings account balance stands at $550.03! What? How did I make three cents in five years? It's a savings account. 
What's the point of even having interest? Well, Mr. Brown, it's because we have our top-of-the-line accounting team working round the clock to assure you the highest interest rate possible at a point zero one percent. You think we're doing just that? Not many banks can say that now, can they? Ah! Is everyone in this bank stupid or something? Let me speak with your manager. He'll be able to help me. Righto, then. Mr. Brown, I've heard you are in trouble with your account. Is this true? Didn't I tell you to get the manager? I am the manager. It appears your savings account balance will not cover the charges against you. Your savings balance is $550.03. You currently owe $615.50. Oh, right. Now it's $649.56. As of right now. Okay, I have a small paycheck I need to cash. $110.52. That should cover it. I'll just sign the back and we can get this done and over with. Thank you. I will deposit this into your account immediately. We should have this all taken care of. Thank God! Okay. Now that that's deposited, half of the amount will be added to your account immediately, but the other half in two to three business days. So you still owe the bank $44.27. By the time this goes through, you will owe $79.01. But you're making it impossible for me to even pay you back. Screwing you with a smile. It's our policy. But that's all the money I have! What's wrong with you people? This is a robbery! Freeze! Hands in the air, scumbag! Yeah! There's no need change, mister. I'm broke. You're not broke, you're even. <laughs>